so I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna get a garden salad. Okay. I'll take probably the, the full size one. Uh huh. And uh, I actually want to do your guys' wing challenge. Oh, are you sure you can take that? It's kind of. Is it, is it's it, a little difficult. Is it's it bad? Hard. It's it's pretty bad. Most people don't make it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. All right. All cool. right if you say so. All right. Yeah. No. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, I'll take the I'll take the salad first though. Okay. Yeah. I can get that right for you. Thank you. Yeah. Got some eerie light, guys. Hold on, I'm trying to play with the lights. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are in Plant City, Florida. Plant City, Florida. Outside, Beef O'Brady's. Beef O'Brady's here in Plant City, which I guess is actually out of all of the Beef O'Brady's, which it is a chain, there's like a hundred some locations across the United States, a lot of them in Florida. This is the number one wing destination, the number one selling wing location of all of them. And hence they actually have a spicy wing challenge. So this is their atomic wing challenge. So the challenge is to eat 20 of their atomic wings in 12 minutes. No liquids are allowed. So these are the spiciest wings they offer. Um, so I don't know how hot they are, but they sound pretty hot. Apparently the gentleman said, you're gonna need some Pepto. You're gonna be a little uh, in a little bit of pain. I'll put it that way. But anyway guys, so like 12 minutes, um, the wings are $28, about $30, which actually is really good deal for 20 wings nowadays. Wings prices are so, so, so high. So yeah, it is a about $30 meal, free if we can complete them in the 12 minutes. Um, but yeah, let's head on in, have some eat some food. Uh, like I said, place known for wings. Apparently this is the wing destination, being the number one selling spot. And uh, I like wings, so atomic wings. Hopefully you don't die, hopefully you don't burn too much. It's been a long time since I've done anything spicy. Let me know if you like the spicy challenges down below. Some people tell me to do them, some people tell me not to do them. So anyway, let's sit in, have some fun. Other than that, let's go eat some food. All right, everybody, so we got the, uh, I got my salad while I'm here waiting for the wings. Um, you can't eat spicy on an empty stomach and these are apparently, you know, as we just heard, pretty deadly. So I'm gonna dive into this. Always eat your greens, eat your vegetables, kids. And uh, then we're gonna be having some, well, wings here momentarily. Everybody, so here with all the wings. Um, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> they smell pretty spicy. You can smell that pepper on it. The manager here uh, literally was like, I wouldn't come within a five foot pole of these guys. So anyway guys, we do have the 20 wings. Um, I'm excited, they look good. Again, no water, which is gonna make this a little more difficult, but um, I'm definitely ready to get rocking and rolling. I better get started before they cool off too much. But uh, yeah, I am allowed to use gloves, which is great, but no drinks, and that's pretty much it. So uh, at that, guys, let's get started here, just momentarily. It's been a long time since I had chicken wings, so I'm actually pretty excited. I like chicken wings, uh, believe it or not. So how do we get going? Let's say maybe at the count of, what do you guys say? Maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. Mm. Mm. Woo! Alright, that's gonna be pretty spicy. Mm. Good cooked wing, but. Woo! That's pretty hot. You're right. Woo! I'm gonna be wearing ooh, my mouth. Ooh, lips are burning. I'm be looking like the Joker after this. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Beef O Brady's. Here taking on the Atomic Wing Challenge. So 20 spicy wings in only 12 minutes. And you guys don't have to be quiet. You just <laughs> do whatever. <laughs> Woo! So Beef O Brady's has a variety of different wing flavors. And as this uh, location specifically is the front runner, the mega dome of the wings, sometimes they actually even get like limited edition sauces and are sauces which are trialed before being put on the menu. Yeah, they're hot, woo. <laughs> So these were the atomic wings and they definitely had a real good kick to them, but the nice thing is they still had a flavor. They were still like meant to be, you know, eaten, edible, and not just taste like chemicals or reapers. Oh man. Yeah, let's go. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I see why they're 
called Atomic. Oh, man. Oh, they got a burn in them. Holy jumpers. Whew. Oh, man. I'm going to need some Tums or something after this, I think. I really was impressed with the quality of this wing. Normally, I'm not the biggest you know, uh, unbreaded wing person. In fact, I would go to say often they really aren't my favorite, but these were delicious. I guess it was just the way they were cooked. You know, we found out that they were uh, never frozen. They were always fresh. Just whatever they did to these wings, they tasted great. Oh. Ah. Okay, guys, whew. Getting through them. I have a huge chicken in the Definitely a big one. Whew. Plant City is just a bit out of Tampa, so it's in the Tampa area. So I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who came on by. We had a really great showing, people from all over the place, both local, both from Tampa, both near and far. So it's always fun to uh, meet everybody and come watch me in pain, I guess. 10 down. Oh man, look at me. Woo. Oh man, I need a whoo. That is hot, but how are we doing for time? Three hundred four. Woo. I didn't know chicken wings were so big in Florida. Oh man. <laughs> Plant City itself seemed like a really nice city, uh, like just a little quaint, but still so accessible to, you know, kind of some big cities. And uh, the staff were super friendly. You just had some real kind of, I'll call it Florida hospitality, small town hospitality, whatever you want to call it. Big state, big wings. Woo. Big bird. Oh. Really nice and good, but I gotta give them that. I was really hoping to be able to get the wings for free, so we're definitely hoping to get them done in that 12 minute time limit. Huh. I can tell that they're uh, fresh, but not frozen. Because the bones are all white. So that's a key, I think that's a big, the big whatever, shout out to them. Oh man. Ugh. And then my plans immediately after, you know, either finishing or failing was to go next door to the uh, Dollar Tree and or Walmart and buy some Tums and Pepto-Bismol because I knew that would definitely be needed. This was definitely a bit hot in the gut and in the esophagus, I guess you could say. I'm a little worried about the gut. Probably should have ate a little more, patted it a little better. It's going to be a little interesting afterwards. You know what they say, burn on the in, burn it in, burn it out. Woo. <laughs> But that everybody, that's pretty much the majority of the information. Uh, remember to eat your vegetables, kids. And definitely, like I said, not that I'd ever recommend doing a spicy challenge, but if you ever are going to, guys, do yourself a favor. Definitely eat beforehand. Otherwise, you're going to be on the like floor rolling with stomach cramps and in more, a lot more pain than you could be. Could be. You'll probably be in pain regardless, but still. Oh, man. Woo. My spice is building. On my face, on my gut. Oh bad. It's probably where it's the worst. Mm. How old are you? Eight? Do you do this after? I have an eight-year-old trash talking me beside me right here. Whew. Everybody, whoo. That is a hot one. We're about what, six and a half minutes in? Six and a half minutes. Uh, you guys got milkshakes? 
Nope. At least we got they got a Coke freestyle machine though, so I get all my I love my I love my Coke freestyle machines. Any place that has a Coke freestyle machine, extra credit for Joel. I love all the flavored beverages. Let me know if you like Coke freestyle machine down below. Oh. I am actually. You're right. I should focus. But I was gonna say the the thinking about the Coke freestyle machine actually kind of helped alleviate it for a second, but. Thanks for ruining my moment. <laughs>
Whew, I won't be cold for the remainder of the day, I'll put it that much. Meat sweats and heat sweats. Whew. Hey, that rhyme. With everybody, huge thanks to be here at the Beef Up Radius here in Plant City. Super friendly people. We do get the wings for free, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, a shout out to everybody here. They've been a super friendly staff. Woo, man, that is spicy. Woo, my face. I gotta wash my face. How many how many cases you say you sell? Uh, like how many pounds you sell a week? Currently about 40, 40 pound cases a week. 40, 40 pound cases? Yeah, I'm not a math man. <laughs> Guys, they sell. I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna simplify it for myself. They sell thousands and thousands of pounds a week, so it's pretty impressive. Because this is not the biggest location, but I see why. These wings were actually delicious. Probably, not gonna lie, I probably would have enjoyed them if they were a little bit more like, you know, one of the other X amount of flavors they have. Heard they had a lot of good flavors. These were great though. I well, gotta say, for being so spicy, they sell a nice flavor. But they didn't just taste like heat or chemicals. So you want some spicy wings. I tell you, this atomic will definitely serve you well. But yeah, guys, really enjoyed them. And uh, I got no complaints. I'll tell you what I am gonna celebrate with. Holiday Coke. That Coke freestyle machine, that is where it is at. And thank God I had that salad. And I probably should have had some earlier before because like I said, I am hot in here. And hopefully the heat stays up here. But anyway, guys, that until next time, stay happy and hungry. Thanks to everybody who came on out, guys. I really appreciate you guys. It's always great to have the support. It's great to uh, meet you guys. Cause so for me, I only you guys see me. I don't get to see you guys. So I really appreciate everybody coming on out. So Florida's been a treat so far. With everybody, Whew, I'm gonna get some tums after this ASAP. Until next time. Say happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating. Until next time, guys. Have a lovely day. We're done. Nice. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Shout out the uh, holiday coat, guys. It's a vanilla swirl. It is very refreshing. It's also been about 15 minutes since I stopped, but that helps too. But delicious. I'm gonna get a cream soda one after this too. So they also have a uh, vanilla swirl sprite, but I'm not as big of a fan of it. The vanilla and lime doesn't go well, but. Vanilla Coke, let me know if you like a vanilla Coke down below, guys. But, woo! And non breaded or breaded wings, guys, let me know down below. Delicious. I don't know, after this, I give a lot more credit to unbreaded wings, so. Woo! And while I'm playing City, we just so happened to luck out that the Christmas parade is tonight. So, um, walk, I just parked, walking over to it. I think we're gonna catch the whole parade. I know it started just a little further south, so I drove up north a bit, you know, along the route. And uh, I think we actually might get to see all of it, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the Plant City Christmas Parade when it comes. Lots of people out, understandably. And what a cool way to celebrate the holiday season. So we got them uh, throwing out beads and gum and candy to the kids, which is cool. This is the police department. Here we got an all-terrain vehicle for wildlife and conservation. We have Smokey the Bear. Again, part of the uh, Forest Service. Let the fire, the flames got higher. And my nephew is a fourth right now. That's cool, you can't see it, but that is an airplane with a uh, message, like a written message going, uh, saying Plant City something something.
right, so we got a taste of it. It's still going on. It's coming near the end. Um, not a huge, huge, huge amount of like floats. Definitely a lot of vehicles, um, which, you know, kind of, they just kind of put signs on. Um, but yeah, hey guys, I really appreciate the Christmas spirit. I appreciate the pride. That's definitely the cool thing that's going on here. You know, uh, they just, there's, there's quite a lot of passion going on, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, you know, more so than the spectacle. There's this um, little area up here I'm gonna walk to real quick, and then I should be able to get the car and get out of the uh, area before everybody else tries to get their cars going uh, because that is gonna take a long time. There's a lot of people, huge turnout for this event, and uh, I gotta try to figure out how to get out of Plant City. Although I've had a great time before the, uh, well, hopefully the parade isn't too much of an impediment. But I gotta say, awesome so far. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Christmas lights up here. So let me show you those. And here's also a great big mural we're walking by, a big Plant City mural. Very, very beautiful. All right, and then this is what I want to show you guys. This is called McCall Park. Uh, it is in the historic downtown Plant City. Anyway, they got so many cool Christmas lights and stuff. So they have a big tree and they have all these lit up presents and things. We got, I mean, everything. Santa Claus, sleighs, thingy things. We got this big old tree up here with presents underneath it. We got stockings. We got all these thingy things. Pretty cool. And then the great big Christmas tree all decked out. We have Santa with a race car over here, which is pretty cool. Christmas creations brought by the city, uh, Plant City General Services Division. All these more rides, or not rides, lights. And yeah, leading over to what is the Railroad Museum. That's kind of that, and there's a few more in this direction as well. And then this is the rest of the lights. And then the parade happening up above. So yeah, pretty cool. I like to see all this. Uh, and here we go, what does it say? Peace on earth. Amen. Amen. So what I will say, and I'm not going to lie, so when I'm in a warm climate, like Florida, I consider Florida a warm climate, Christmas, it, it, it always feels kind of funny, like, it's because I'm so associated with like Christmas being like harsh winter super cold out white so i gotta say uh, i remember the first time i saw um christmas lights and and uh you know often fake but sometimes real christmas trees and stuff and was somewhere warm like florida or mexico for christmas i was kind of like i don't know if it seems like christmas you know what i'm saying so let me know in a comment down below if you think you know you got to be somewhere cold to have christmas because I've come to adapt to it, and I don't feel like that anymore. In fact, I feel that, you know, it really is all kind of like the spirit, the spirit of it, you know? So when you have the Christmas parade, you have the lights all done up, you know, it, it does bring the vibe. It definitely still brings the Christmas vibe. So, Plant City, Florida, Florida in general, I like it.